We give you a news headline, and you will guess the missing word or phrase. When you know the answer, just blurt it out, and if correct, keep track of your winning points in your head, with a pen, or with a counter. Vladimir Putin is planning to step down next year as speculation swirls in Russia that the longtime president may have blanks disease. The answer is Parkinson. Moscow political scientist Valery Solove told The Sun that the Russian strongman's 37-year-old girlfriend, Alina Kabava, and his two daughters are pushing him to leave office. Trump prepares to launch a second term early, even without blank. The answer is winning. He may fire department heads like the FBI's Chris Ray and Pentagon chief Mark Esper. He could sign base-pleasing executive orders. He might resume travel. Rapper 50 Cent seems to think that President Donald Trump is going blank. At least, that's what the rapper tweeted on Thursday. The answer is to jail. Like many people across the country, 50 Cent whose real name is Curtis Jackson is keeping an eye on the results of the 2020 presidential election and Trump's comments on the state of the race. COVID-19 cases, blank, for second day in a row, topping 120,000. The answer is, break record. The United States has the highest number of coronavirus cases and deaths in the world. More than 236,000 people have died from COVID-19 in the U.S., according to NBC News data. Mitch McConnell is already preparing to torpedo Joe Biden's blank picks. The answer is cabinet. Electoral math currently suggests that the GOP will control enough Senate seats to scuttle the ambitions of some Democrats to fast-track a progressive agenda. As Trump doubles down on election, blank, America's allies are dismayed and disturbed. The answer is falsehoods. With the world watching America's painstaking vote count on Friday, many people recoiled at President Trump's attempt to undermine faith in the democratic process and reflected on the deep divisions blighting the United States. Twitter suspends Steve Bannon after he suggests blank, Fauci and Ray. The answer is beheading. Bannon, speaking on his War Room podcast, said Trump shouldn't just fire Ray and Fauci, he should dismember the government officials as a warning to federal bureaucrats. ABC, CBS, NBC all, blank, from Trump's news conference on the election. The answer is cut away. We have to interrupt here because the president made a number of false statements including the notion that there's been fraudulent voting, Holt told viewers. There has been no evidence of that allegation by his campaign. Counties with worst blank surges overwhelmingly voted Trump. The answer is virus. U.S. voters went to the polls starkly divided on how they see President Donald Trump's response to the coronavirus pandemic. But in places where the virus is most rampant now, Trump enjoyed enormous support. False rumors about blank went viral, sparking outrage and a lawsuit. The answer is Sharpies. 
false claims that using Sharpie pens could invalidate ballots in Arizona prompted a top Department of Homeland Security official on Thursday to urge people to stop spreading disinformation online connected to the so-called, hashtag SharpieGate, rumors. Stephen Colbert, blank, in tears and called Trump a fascist after the president's conspiracy-laden rant at the White House. The answer is broke down. On Thursday evening as the Democratic nominee Joe Biden led him in the race for the White House, Trump told reporters he was cheated out of the election, complained about polls, falsely declared himself the winner, and suggested without evidence that widespread voter and election fraud took place. CNN's Anderson Cooper describes Trump as an obese blank on his back, flailing in the hot sun, after the president ranted about the election from the White House podium. The answer is turtle. CNN's Anderson Cooper didn't mince words when he reacted to President Donald Trump's grievance-filled speech from the White House podium Thursday evening. Donald Trump made gains in every demographic except for blank. The answer is white men. According to Edison Research's exit poll, the Republican incumbent is up with black men and women, Latino men and women and white women. The blanks are back. Family ties cast to reunite in support of the Actors Fund. The answer is Keaton. The reunion will include Meredith Baxter, Michael Gross, Michael J. Fox, Tina Yothers, Mark Price and Scott Valentine. Sean Connery resented the James Bond franchise, it's a lot of blank. The answer is rubbish. In a Deadline article, journalist Peter Bart reveals that Sean Connery had a decidedly less enthusiastic take on the spy franchise that he had helped launch into the stratosphere. Blake Shelton and blank already have plans for their dream wedding, source claims. The answer is Gwen Stefani. Since they first publicly stepped out as a couple in early 2016, fans have been desperately awaiting news of wedding bells from Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani. The pair met back in 2014 as judges on the long-running competition series, The Voice. Blank. On prospects of, Wedding Crashers, sequel, there's an idea that's a good idea. The answer is. Vince Vaughn. Echoing recent comments made by director David Dobkin and other co-stars, Vince Vaughn became the latest party involved in the 2005 hit comedy Wedding Crashers to reveal discussions have begun about a potential follow-up. New research suggests, blank, women hunted big game alongside men. The answer is, prehistoric. A recently excavated burial of a woman hunter estimated to be nearly 9,000 years old in a site called Willamaya Pat JXA in what is now Peru may undermine this commonly held understanding. Blank. Spray prevents COVID infection in ferrets, study finds. The answer is nasal. If the spray, which the scientists described as non-toxic and stable, is proved to work in humans, it could provide a new way of fighting the pandemic. A daily spritz up the nose would act like a vaccine. Women who never go back to work after starting a family have 50% worse blank, decline in old age, study finds. The answer is memory. 
The findings could help prevent conditions linked to memory decline such as Alzheimer's disease, which affects women more than men.